Hello, uh, my name is Frank Mendez. Thank you very much for tuning in to us. We've got something really exciting for you. It's called the Multi-Purpose Emergency Water Distiller. And what's really beautiful about this distiller is it can be used off-grid and on-grid in both situations. And right now we're gonna talk about the distillation aspect of this distiller. Source water that I'm using is just right out of the tap. <clears throat> and uh, 532 parts per million total dissolved solids. And a pH level of 7.1, according to my meter. 7.11, so probably settle out right around 7.05, give or take. All right, we got the system back together and filled up the top pot. And it's still filling the uh, the boiling chamber through the valve and the bomb. You can kind of see it down in there. But uh, so this will settle off. Um, I've got water in the bottom, probably close to an inch, I would imagine, give or take, uh, since I know how long it takes to fill these. Um, but uh, I can go ahead and start the burner. I'll go ahead and turn that on. Now, um, a couple things we're going to talk about when we're uh, operating this thing. I output all my water into a glass container and it has no valve or anything because those uh, little plastic valves sometimes will melt. The output temperature of the water is going to be 150 degrees, give or take, when this thing's running for a long time. Now, this is an open distiller. This is not a closed distiller like uh, electric distillers that cost you an arm and a leg to run. This means that out of this hose will come water and steam. When this thing is uh, operating, and if you're using a very, very dirty water source, perhaps a lake or a stream or something like that, um, the uh, you know volatile organic chemicals that are in the water are going to boil at a lower temperature. Well, they're going to come out of this hose in vapor, and all the water is actually going to condense and go into your pot. This thing going here, we are just turned it on and the burner is running. You can see it's already starting to condense uh, just water vapor out of the air on the pot. And uh, we'll show you how this thing produces. Alright, just got back inside. I had it running while I was uh, gathering some wood for the fire. But um, uh, we have water producing and I wanted to uh, show you guys um, a couple things that people ask. There will be some condensation on the boiling plate. Just because that's colder and it will condense a little bit until the system heats up. But uh, you can see we've actually made, uh, I don't know, maybe three or four cups of water. This container here is about a gallon and a quarter, give or take. And uh, but you can see the water just flowing out. And you can also see the, the water vapors. Now, uh, that's normal. As the system warms up, you get a little bit more water vapor, but then you can control that with the flame by turning the flame down a little bit. I have this thing running on uh, pretty much high at the moment, just when it first starts. And you can also see the water level has dropped about a quarter of an inch or so. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll check back with you in a little bit and let it run. All right, I want to show you guys the power of evaporative cooling. We're just using water. As a cooling source, uh, just like in your car, it's the reason cars use a liquid like water, which is 50 50 water, but, um, is that uh, it can absorb a lot of heat and also through the evaporation process, which you can kind of see the vapors coming off and wicking against the uh, stainless steel, cooling is happening. So this system can basically run indefinitely just like this. Uh, as long as you don't overdrive it too much and pump too much heat. Uh, but about 10, 15,000 BTUs is all you need, which is the size of a normal burner on a stove, you know, like this one here. But, uh, but anyway, so that's what's cooling the system. You can see water has dropped. And I'll show you a little thing that's happening here. You can see some of the water vapor coming out of the system as the water keeps on uh, coming out of the hose here happens here and now we're going to go ahead and fill and top off our system <clears throat> add some more water to it and the system will contract for just a moment 
and then you can start seeing the water start flowing all over again. Just interesting as you add cold water to the condenser and then all of a sudden it starts flowing. So but that's exactly how the system works. As long as you keep on uh, adding water to the top pot, you know, maybe every 20 minutes to half an hour, the system will run indefinitely. And that's how we uh, originally ran the system and filled two 55-gallon drums with distilled water. Just continually fill the top pot, adding cool water to this pot. This pot's the boiling pot. The water comes up, condenses between those two uh, plates uh, in the condenser, and runs out the hose. All right, we're back for something kind of fun here. I ran some uh, distilled water in here a little bit ago into a small cup, just so I can show you what's going on here. You remember uh, our source water was 750 parts per million, total dissolved solids, uh, using our little meter here. Our tap water was 500, and distilled water is, well, look at that, zero. So, zero parts per million of uh, total dissolved solids. Here, let's see if we can get a pH really quick. I know this thing takes a while to adjust. And in warm water, we may not get the best results here, but we'll give it a moment here to... It takes a while for these things to start breathing. And it'll drop, 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 drop. So slightly basic. And uh, here we are, we're about, I don't know, where is that? It's about pretty close to a gallon. Please uh, take a look at our site, we're waterdistillers.com. And once again, you, we have the most complete water distillation systems, off-grid and on-grid water distillation systems that you will see anywhere. And if I'm wrong, give me a call and let me know. I know I'm right. Thanks again. My name is Frank Mendez with waterdistillers.com.